Bronze beer halves are available in flat pack form. Here I'll be showing you how to put together the brood body, the place where the queen lives. In your flat pack brood body, you get your two locking bars for the bottom of your brood, your two locking bars for the top of your brood, your two metal runners for the inner walls, your two outer walls, and your two inner walls. You also receive your packet of nails for putting the brood body together. So the first job in assembling the brood body is to put your two metal runners on your two inner walls. As you take your metal runner on the top of your wall, evened out at each side and pinned on with your little brass escutcheon pins which come in your pack. The runners are already drilled off, so it's just a case of inserting it into the wall and hammering it in all the way along. And exactly the same for the other one. The next job is to put a mark on the top of the outer walls of the brood body at each side, just at one side, on both of them and it's for, for positioning your inner wall in the correct place. You need to mark flush from the top 11 millimetres down or 7 sixteenths of an inch if you're working in Imperial and it's quite critical that you get this measurement right because if it's too high your frames will sit too high and your super won't sit properly and if they're too low your frame will sit too low and it'll take up your bee space at the bottom of your brood body. Right, the next job is to fit the inner walls to the outer walls. These get glued, but you can do it dry first, just to make sure you're getting it in the right place. So you offer it in, and the, say the top of your runner here wants to be lined up with your pencil mark, 11 millimeters down or 7 sixteenths of an inch. Do we use a strong wood glue? You can get the same one we use in the workshop from the thorn shop or online. And it's just a bead of glue in there, just short of each end, and a bead of glue. Same at this side, just short from each end. And then just the same as you did dry, off your inner wall, up to your outer wall, into the slot, and line up with your pencil mark. that one. So you'll be careful careful to keep it all in place and if you just flip it over with four nails down each side it goes just below just below the gap for your upper locking bar and they're the two inch lost head nails which you get in your pack. So it's turned round you put your second nail just below your locking bar slot at the bottom. And again, same for the other one. And then just two more at each side, even out. And then it's a case of doing exactly the same at the other side, again you can offer it in dry just to make sure you can get it lined up with your pencil mark and just tap down and then when you're happy with that it can be glued and nailed exactly the same as this top wall. The next job is to fit your locking bars in each side, two top ones and your two bottom ones. First of all we'll put your two top locking bars in, these are the ones with the large rebate in them as opposed your bottom locking bar which has a smaller rebate in it and also has an angled top. Your rebate facing downwards again the two inch round head nails just to nail them in each end just through that lug there. You spin your brood body round 
and we second top locking bar exactly the same rebate down into your slots and that's those in position creating your two rebates where your frame sits and now it's the same again for the bottom this time using your bottom locking bars rebate to the bottom chamfered piece to the top again in the lug lug in the slot and tap and then exactly the same as your top locking bars your second bottom locking bar again rebate to the underneath chamfer to the top and fix each end with a two inch nail and now they're in place they have created two smaller rebates at the bottom of your brood body which create your B space. Just to secure it up finally is to put four inch and a half nails and they want to be here, here, here and here and they'll go through the outer wall and into the locking bar like, like so. Just turn it over and exactly the same on the opposite outer wall. It's at this point, it's a good time to put a tape measure corner to corner on your brood body just to make sure that it's square. The final part of the build is to nail through your inside walls into your locking bar just to strengthen everything up. Now you want to nail your nails roughly quarter of an inch down or six millimeters and that's just nailed in so that it goes through and it's nailed into this locking bar. If you go too low it'll come out the bottom four of them along there and you want to do exactly the same along this bottom edge and then you flip it over and it's exactly the same again four nails below your runner And four nails along the bottom and there you have one brood body complete